Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at creating this simple movie poster. This is kind of like a knockoff movie poster of uh, the movie, I'm not even sure if it's been released yet to be honest with you, called uh, The Boat That Rocks or The Boat That Rocked, something like that. We're going to be creating that. This actually was in the May-June tutvid.com newsletter, May-June of 09 that is. Uh, so if you are not a member of the newsletter, I strongly suggest that you go and sign up. That's www.tutvid.com slash newsletter. You'll get all these tutorials. Uh, you know, a little earlier, maybe a whole month earlier or so. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started on this poster. Well, the first thing we want to do is compile new, and here we want to make sure the width is 650 and the height is 960. Background contents, set them to white. Hit OK. Hit the G button. That's going to grab the gradient tool, and just click on the little gradient preview area up here. That's going to open up the gradient editor. We want to choose the default black to white, not the foreground to background, the black to white. All right, double click the black color stop, and we're going to set the hex value right here. It's the pound sign. The hex value to A8, 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 A8. It's going to give us sort of a medium slash light medium gray. Hit OK. OK again. Now, with the gradient tool, we're going to start down on this bottom corner and drag to the top corner. All right, now I actually want this light corner to be down here. So I'm going to hit Commander Control Z to undo that. And up here in the gradient toolbar, I'm going to hit the reverse button. And then I'm going to do that again. Just like that perfect that's exactly what I need let's go on to the next step and that's gonna require the text tool so hit the T button that is the hotkey for the text tool and we're gonna choose the font uh, Myriad Pro it's a pretty standard uh, font and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type some big bold letters so and these are all separate text fields I'm gonna type the as its own word I'm gonna type plug as its own word and by the way to just quickly commit the text changes hit control enter on the Mac to be command return and the plug that command return or control return shocks there we go so now we have our text now the actual color of this text doesn't really matter because we're going to be converting it to a path and doing all kinds of different stuff with it later so don't stress yourself out about catching up with me with color black is fine all right, what I want to do is select the shocks layer and the the layer here. It's just the layer that contains the word the. And hold the shift key while I select that. It selects all four text layers. Great. We're going to go window, character to open up the character panel. And I'm going to drag this guy right out here. What I want to do with all four of these text layers selected, I can edit all four of these layers of text at the same time. So I'm going to come up here to the this little drop down menu here asking me what style. And I want this all to be black. So you can see it really makes it like more than bold. It makes it very strong and thick. Great. And what I want to do next is just select the the layer and the that layer and make them 52 point. All right, so do that and hit tab. Then I'm going to select shocks and plug and I'm going to make these 155 point. All right, great. Just like that, we have now resized our text. It's time to go ahead and sort of organize it on our document. What we now have to do is arrange this text. So I'm going to use the move tool and you can see I've got it selected already. The hotkey for doing that is just the letter V. Very, very easy. Now notice I have the shocks layer selected. That means that right now, great, I'm dragging the shocks layer around. The problem is now when I click on plug, you all probably know that it's still going to drag the shocks layer around. Let me just drag it right back up to its place here. Now there's a cool little trick. Now you could just come over to the layers panel and select plug and say, all right, I'm going to drag this guy over. But there's a cool trick. If you just hold down Control or Command and click on a layer or click on the artwork on the document, you can see it automatically selects the layer. So now you can see that without even going to the Layers panel, I move the word the. Now that is going to be a little tougher because it's actually beneath shock, so I'm just going to select that and drag it right up and over just like so. Use the arrow keys to fine tune the placement. And actually, I'm going to select that and plug and just bump them to the right a touch. There we go. So now we have our text arranged the way we like it. What we now want to do is select the bottom text layer, hold down shift and select the top text layer, go layer, type, convert to shape. What we now have is each of our text layers has been converted to a vector shape layer. So we have a vector mask essentially masking off a fill layer. We can go in and double click on any one of these colors and change the color of our text just like that. All right, so I'm going to hit cancel. And we're going to leave that as black. The thing I really like about this is we now have basically converted our text to a path. We can just edit the path here in the vector mask, and it's going to edit the way our text looks. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to zoom in on this text a little bit, and here comes the, uh, the possibly the trickiest part of this. All right, I'm just controlling the plus key a couple times, uh, a few times, to zoom in on the text. All right, you can see that we have what looks like a rough edge. That's actually that uh, path being selected. If I just hit the escape key, or excuse me, just click away from the mask. I'm thinking of working with a normal path. 
if I just click away from the mask, you can see it deselects. But I actually want to select that mask and I want to edit this path. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on that vector mask, just like so. And I'm going to go to the pen tool. I'm going to choose the convert point tool. This is the last tool when you click and hold on the pen tool. Very cool. Now with this, I'm going to select my path. And you can see I'm going to select, well, you don't want to actually click an anchor point unless you want to change it. I'm going to hold down my alt or option key. And I can see that I'm editing the top of the S. I don't want that. Commander Control Z, what I'm going to do is click on this bottom point, hold down Alt or Option, and I'm just going to pull it in. All right, just like that. Now I'm going to do that with the top of the lower portion of the S. All right, hold down, holding down the Alt key again, just pull that right in. All right, so you can see here if I deselect the mask by deselecting the path, oh, there we go, you can see that I've really rounded the edges of the S. All right, I'm going to do it with the H, the four straight edges of the H. I'm not going to bore you as I do it to all of these letters. So I'm going to do that, then I'm going to pause it and return and have it all rounded off. So what I'm going to do here, still in shocks, grab that convert point tool and select this, uh, select this path. And you can see that I'm going to be editing the side of the H. I don't really want to edit the side of the H, so I'm going to go to the other point, pull down, and I'm holding the Alt Option key. Remember, that's the very most important thing here. Select over here, holding my old option key, great. And then typically when we go down to the bottom, it's just going to be the opposite anchor points. You can see those are the ones that we want. Holding down alter option, just pulling away. So you can see here, deselect that uh, that vector mask, and we have these nice rounded edges to our letters. All right, I'm going to pause it and do all of the letters, and hopefully you do the same. I'll be back in just a second.